in the new world of the atomic age. Nuclear power has been an incredibly impressive and controversial subject. Many on both sides of the issue have debated how good or bad it is for the environment and the safety of the people around it. But how would nuclear power fare in space? used as a tool to launch and guide rockets far into the stars. Well, it sounds like we're about to find out, because Russia is going all in on nuclear power in space, and the implications could be downright impressive. Russia's space agency, called Roscosmos, just announced that it is planning to send a spaceship to explore the solar system, reaching as far as Jupiter in the year 2030. This new uncrewed transport and energy ship, called Zeus by Russian media, will weigh up to 22 tons and be powered by a 500 kilowatt nuclear reactor. It will race through the cosmos thanks to nuclear power, an approach to space travel that could greatly shorten the amount of time it takes to travel millions of miles at great speeds. Has Russia just cracked space exploration in a new way that will change the game forever? Is this novel method to spaceship manufacturing something that other countries will attempt as well? What does Zeus mean for the future of space travel? Is this brand new spaceship a big, big deal? The answer is definitely a resounding yes. Now, let's discuss why. Before we get into what makes Russia's Zeus ship so special, we've got to talk about how spacecrafts are currently created. Space travel is an incredibly complicated and mind-bending concept that requires literal rocket science to work. But at its core, some of its concepts are actually quite elementary. Take how ships are powered, for example. As of now, these massive feats of engineering and science typically rely on solar power or gravity to accelerate. There is obviously much more to it than just that, but that's essentially what keeps things moving. While spaceships are capable of reaching great speeds in amounts of time that can only be described as astounding, nothing happens overnight. Even at breakneck speeds, everything takes a lot of time, even at the great speeds that ships are flying at. Right now, it would take about three years for a round trip to Mars and back. Incredible? Yes. Short? Not by a long shot. Russia's new scientific approach to build a nuclear-powered ship means that months, if not years, could be shaved off that timeline. NASA has estimated that a nuclear-powered craft could complete the Mars trip in just two years. That's a whole 12 months subtracted from the entire estimate, as it is in all things, time equals money in space, so time saved means money saved. Russia knows that if it is able to get more rockets into space and have them returning to Earth in a shorter amount of time, they will become a dominant force in the raging space race. As nations and businesses such as SpaceX and Blue Origin stake their claims and try to be the superior name in space travel, a nuclear-powered craft could be a complete game-changer. Whichever nation is able to successfully build a vessel powered by nuclear power could become the most powerful presence among the stars. Nuclear-powered space travel is about more than just saving time, though. Nuclear reactors can exist and even thrive in the cold, dark areas of space that don't get a lot of sunlight. Many modern ships are in fact powered by the sun and its vast solar power. But with a reactor, any ship can travel independently of our star, meaning it could reach corners of the galaxy that other ships cannot. Additionally, a nuclear reactor can last for an incredible amount of time. Russia predicts that Zeus's reactor will last for at least 10 to 12 years. So the benefit of a nuclear-powered ship are major. There are drawbacks to nuclear power in space though, just like here on Earth. The biggest issue relates to the fuel used in a nuclear-propelled spaceship. Only certain fuels, such as highly enriched uranium, can work on a ship like Zeus, because only highly enriched uranium can withstand the incredibly high temperatures of a nuclear reactor. Yet, debate rages on about how safe that sort of uranium is. In fact, its safety is in such question that just a few months ago, the United States banned the use of highly enriched uranium to power objects in space if it is ever possible to use nuclear fuel or non-nuclear fuel instead. While that challenge is major and completely valid, the benefits of a nuclear-powered craft outweigh the risks to many countries and space agencies. Therefore, it is no surprise that other nations have been looking to create their own ships in the same fashion as Zeus. America has been toying with the idea of trying to put together plans of their own. As of now, the United States is scheduled to send a lunar lander with a 10-kilowatt reactor to the moon as early as 2027. This 
wouldn't be America's first foray into nuclear reactors in space. Back in 1965, NASA launched a satellite that was powered by one, and the Mars Curiosity and Perseverance rovers are also nuclear powered. But they don't use a reactor like Zeus and America's in development lunar lander. Russia hasn't been messing around with their nuclear reactor experiments either. They have already launched over 30 of these reactors into space. The country sees their Zeus rocket ship as the final step in a long journey. After years of laying the groundwork, Russia is now aiming for the stars, and more specifically, Jupiter. Zeus's planned mission would be a big one. After leaving Earth and its atmosphere, the ship would approach the moon and then head off towards Venus. It would then use Venus's gravity to help it shift directions and then fly to its final destination, Jupiter. The entire mission is planned to take a little over four years, according to Russian officials. That's considerably shorter than the same trip powered by any other method. The Russian government has been developing the Zeus model for over 10 years now. It got started back in 2010. Recently, it's even manufactured and tested a prototype and signed a contract with a major Russian company to create designs for the upcoming ship. While just creating a nuclear-powered ship that makes it to Jupiter is a huge deal and a massive event in the space travel industry, Russia's got its sights set on much more than just Zeus. It has been reported that the country plans to cut ties with the International Space Station and create its own independent space station by the year 2025. It is rumored the same tech they are using to create and power the Zeus will also power any Russian-run space station. If that does come to pass, it will create a massive fissure in diplomatic relations between the countries that participate in the International Space Station and will further heat up the modern space race. Russia is looking to carve a path solely for itself amongst the stars, and it may very well use nuclear power to fuel that path. To show how serious they are about creating their very own space station, Russia showed off its work on the first base module of it just a few months ago. Aside from the station they are creating, Russia is also eyeing the moon and plans to land a probe on the south pole of it by the end of the year. What will happen after Zeus's trip and the creation of a nuclear-powered Russian space station? If that goes well, nuclear power may become the predominant approach to space travel and construction. Multiple nations have plans of creating lunar bases within the next couple of decades. If they move forward with those plans, nuclear power will become the most surefire way to power the operations on the moon and beyond. The creation of Zeus is, in many ways, a test to see how nuclear power will fare in the stars. If it does go well, Russia has given every indication that it will, well, the future will be filled with nuclear energy. While that form of power has always been met with protests and fears on Earth, it stands to reason that it will be much more accepted and even celebrated when any nuclear reactor is hundreds of thousands of miles away from us here on Earth. Russia's announcement of its rocket ship Zeus has the potential to become one of the biggest developments in space travel for quite some time. It's going to greatly reduce the length of trips and will allow ships to voyage where they have never been before. Plus, it will set the table for a future of exploration and development that seemed unattainable only a few years ago. More than that, it will also create a showdown between two of the biggest superpowers on the planet, Russia and America. Will Russia really be the first to perfect this technology and launch a nuclear-powered spaceship? Or will the United States step up to the challenge in order to best their competition yet again? If there was any doubt that a brand new space race was in full swing, there isn't any more. Zeus is another step in the race, to and among the stars.